What is going on everyone and welcome back to some more new Super Mario Bros for the DS and today we are going to be playing the final stage of this game. It's honestly kind of crazy after 10 years I finally am going to finish this game off. Uh, this is a very long stage by the way and it's not too difficult but it gave me a lot of problems back when I was younger. Um, Mostly these, these uh, weird torches. These things were so annoying. And this stage is uh, kind of tricky actually to navigate your way around if you don't know where you're going. And I'm going to be very patient with these torches because I'm not trying to get hit. Um, I mean they have item blocks around but it's just easier to wait for them honestly. And okay, I thought I might have had to go to the left there. It's very easy to kind of lose your way in this stage. And a little further on... Perfect. And uh, there's a switch there. I'm not going to hit it right now. Um, but as you guys can probably tell, the main mechanic of this stage is... Wow, that dude came down quick! Uh, but the main mechanic of this stage is you have these mystery switches, which if you hit, it will rotate the stage completely, uh, which is how you go from, cer uh, geez, from door to door. And obviously I just need this dude to go by, so I can get into this door. Perfect. Oh yeah, and the map on the bottom screen is entirely useless, as you guys can clearly see. Um, somewhere around here, I think actually, yeah, I'm going to go to the left, because there's a switch that we're going to want to hit. Um, in fact, I think it's actually that switch that you guys saw a couple rooms ago. I think it's the same exact switch. Not positive about that. Oh, jeez, man. I don't know why it's giving me so many problems to hit this, but there we go. And yeah, that spawns a platform, which we're going to need later uh, to grab star coin number two, I think. Yeah, star coin number two. Oh, dang it. Should have been patient there. We have this torch th uh, right in front of us, which obviously doesn't go away either. I guess being small kind of helped me out there in the end. Allowed me to um, just run under that flame without having to try and slide under it. Anyways, we got these dudes. I think they're called Thwomps? Or are they Womps? I don't know. Still don't know. Anyways, we have the first star coin to the left. It's not that hard to grab it. It's kind of a dangerous trip going back. Because uh, you need to go onto this platform in order uh, for the dude to go down. There we go. There's a fire flower actually right down here, which is why I use my power up there. Resuck my inventory. And there's actually a switch right here, which we need to hit uh, to carry on. Boom! And if we work our way back up, I will go on to the next room. Whoa! Sup, dude? Yeah, you can actually tell where they're gonna be because the uh, the platforms are different. The the flooring's different. You know, they're on that weird. I don't know what color that is. Like yellowish, goldish. I don't know. I'm not good with colors. Uh, anyways. Now we're gonna go out here, back to that main room, and that platform to the left, that's the one that we, um, that's the one that we unlocked when we hit that switch a few rooms ago. I'm probably making no sense, but it's the only way you can grab the star coin. And maybe even the only way you can continue the stage, I'm not positive about that. There might be multiple ways to navigate your way through here. Anyways, we're finally halfway done with this stage, and we have this weird little area where you have to take a... You have to take a certain path, otherwise you're going to be here forever. Uh, so you want to go bottom path, top path, middle path. And uh, if you take the wrong path at all, it's going to reset and you're going to have to go all the way back through. And uh, here's star coin number three, which this one is a little tricky to grab. Uh, you just need to sort of slide under there. I guess if you have the shell, it's kind of easy as well. Uh, but it didn't really cause me too many problems. And a little further on, we got the final boss. Obviously we have Peach up there. So Bowser Jr. is going to go through some black magic and of course revive his dear old dad. I think he's bigger than he was before. And you can use fireballs to take him out. I think you can take Bowser himself out with fireballs. You can definitely take out Bowser Jr. But, uh, Big Bowser, he seems to have a lot of health. So, this might take a while. 
the other alternative, and maybe... I don't know for a fact if you need the... or if you could take him out with the fireballs. But obviously we have that switch at the end, um, which... Jeez, man! I hope I can actually grab now. Jump up, dude! I'm gonna go under. I think I'm good, yeah. There we go. You hit the kill switch, and that is it. Bowser is gone. And, uh, that is it. We finally rescued Peach. Come on down, babe. Man, I really wish I wasn't small here. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a nice little kiss. And that is it, guys. That is the end of the game. I'm gonna go ahead and let the credits play out. But, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. It's taken me 10 years to complete this game, which is honestly kind of crazy, but it's finally done. Um, I'm going to have one more bonus episode, by the way, which will come out, I guess, tomorrow. Uh, so, just uh, keep an eye out for that. It's going to show off the secret challenge mode, and uh, that's pretty much it, honestly. <laughs> that's really all that's left to show. Uh, so, again, just thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good bye. Thank you.